What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be switching out my Barton short throw shifter to a, a MGW race spec shifter. I did this video a few months ago, so um, I don't even know if it's in the exact order how you're supposed to do it. But to get better instructions, just head over to the MGW uh, website and they have a detailed step-by-step -step video to help you out. Alright, let's get this video started. This is 50 go. I told you to not drink and drive. Let's get this bad boy open. Just to be seen. Please read concerning the new design. 11 to 14 expect. You guys can see that. Alright, actual shifter. Uh, that's kind of fat right there, buddy. Alright. Some kind of bracket or whatnot. That's a sticker. If you can see it. Some Loctite thread locker. A zip tie. It's some kind of rubber bushings or whatever. Got a heat shield. Some dyno mat and another like heat shield or something that goes over the uh, the cutout. It's just the bracket right here. Yes, sir. The bracket. Next time you see all this, it'll be on the car. All right, first thing we want to do is take this uh, center console up. You can watch some other previous videos on how to do that, so I'm not going to show all that part. Take the little padding up. Take the boot off. And there we have it. The old Barton. Got the Barton out. Now we gotta go to the bottom and get the little bracket out. What a big ass difference, man. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Finally got the bottom bracket thing out. So official Barton is out the car like I said I will be selling that so hit me up on uh, Instagram or whatever whatever I'll be selling that alright now on to the uh, MGW shifter the thing is if you look through all this paperwork and stuff there is no directions you have to go online to get the directions so let me go get my laptop. It'll be easier to do it on. All right. Next, you're going to drop the transmission down a little bit. Yours will probably be different than mine because I got this BMR safety loop on there. So I got to do a little bit more extra. But what you're going to do is just get an 18 millimeter socket and loosen these bolts and let the transmission drop down a little bit. All right. It's kind of hard to see, but we got the transmission lowered now you know if you can see up in there but there's three bolts one two and three i know it's hard to see up in there but you want to take those three bolts loose right there with the uh three eighths socket all right let's get these three bolts loose to hold the bracket up here i know it's kind of hard to see but it's not a lot of movement underneath my car if you can see these three bolts, if I get the camera up in there. No, it's hard to see. But there's, there it goes, it should be better. I don't know if you can see it. There's three bolts in there. You're going to want to take this, this black bracket loose. I know it's hard to see, sorry. Next, you'll begin at 10 millimeter. And you're going to bust this bolt loose right here. And 
make sure you hold on to this bolt right here because you're going to be reusing it. All right, this top uh, bolt for the top bracket, that's just kind of hell getting out. What I had to do is, uh, I'm doing this by myself, so you have to like, pull down the transmission a little bit. You just need a little bit of room to get it out. Good luck on that. All right, next you're going to get a 13 millimeter. You're not going to be able to see it, but there's a bolt up here on top. You're going to have to bust that loose. You're going to be reusing this bolt too. Start taking these bracket arms down. And then you're, you're going to want to go to the top and take the, uh, the shifter out. Alright, we're on top of the car. And I guess you're supposed to take this out from the top. Oh shit, maybe not. Out. All right, now that we got the shifter out. It's a little easier to show you the bolts I was talking about. At first, when I said there's three three bolts on the driver's side, it's right here, right here, right here. Then you're gonna take a bolt loose right there, and then the that's the bolt that you have to kind of pull down on the transmission to get out because it's kind of a tight fit. And then up here, when I said there's a top bolt. That's the bolt right there. Right right there. I don't know, this might be a pain in the ass to get back in. Because if it's hard getting it out, it's really going to be hard putting it back in. Wish me luck. Next, you're going to want to get a little bit of Loctite and put it right there. Then this bolt will go in here like this. Alright, we got some Loctite on this. Alright, this goes to the front of the car. The part right here towards the front and it slips on that little ball up there then you put the little uh, original bolt back in that you took off all right next you're gonna uh, take these bolts out right here take them out them to the side and then you're gonna get the bolts from right here take them off just the top bolts nuts or whatever you call them bolts nuts or whatever and then we're gonna be putting some Loctite on this one and this one all right we got the Loctite on these and then you want to get that one bolt I told you about earlier we're gonna put some Loctite on that too and that's gonna go right through here all right, we got Loctite on that bolt now. That's gonna go right here. Next, we're gonna take this off right here and put some Loctite on this too. All right, we got the Loctite on this one. Now you wanna stick it right back in the same way you took it out. And you're gonna do them to both sides too. All right, now that we got the screws, all the screws back in finger tight, I'm not gonna put those in yet, so don't worry about that. The next step is you want to get your dyno mat and cut a strip of it, and we're gonna lay it right here. All right, we got the dyno mat on the uh, bridge thing. I said you don't want to go too far up. I I put mine on right to where it starts to slant. All right, let's get this bad boy on the car. All right. Next, you're gonna wanna let me see if I can the way. It's gonna be a you wanna tighten this bolt. It's hard to see. It's so hard to see. There it is. Tighten this bolt. You wanna start tightening it with your hand first. And then once you get it in, you wanna put a, a a ten millimeter thing on there and tighten it down. Now that we got the bridge on, we're going to come back here to the shifter. 
Next we're going to take this bolt off right here and put some Loctite on it. Alright, we got the Loctite on this bolt now. We're going to set it to the side. And we're going to turn this upside down. And we're going to put some dyno mat right here on the bottom of this. Alright, we got the dyno mat on the bottom too. Okay, now what you don't want to do is you don't want to mix these two bolts up. The two longer bolts. See, those are the same size. And this is the short one. Short one goes here. And the long ones are going to go there. Now we want to put the shifter back in the car. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Then we're going to get the rest from the bottom. Next you're going to get them two longer bolts and put them right here. Then put the short bolt up back up in the front. Alright, you're going to want to put the short bolt here and the two bolts here. And then start them off with your fingers. Get them finger tight. And then come back and snug them down. It's kind of hard to see, but we got all the got everything on now finger tight snugged or whatever now we got to go up there and uh, get inside the car and run through the gears and make sure everything's uh, in place and then we have to take it back off then put the boot back on kind of dumb but that's what they say to do the thing back out makes it hard to do with one hand So here's what the deal is. Um, I put everything on the car, did it finger tight. I ran through the gears, made sure the lockout um, was working right, and it went in reverse. I did it hard. I did it gentle. Then I took it back out. I think it's kind of stupid to do all that, but they said to do that before you put everything back together fully. So what we're going to do now is just put the boot back on. All right, we got the boot on right now. Let's see. Now let's get this bad boy put in the car and bolt her up. Alright, we got all the bolts tightened up. Now we're gonna put the little heat shield up here. Alright, we got the shifter up in here and got the boot tucked on the lip like it's supposed to be. Next up we'll be putting a little installation thing on there. But first you want to take these little black plastic caps off and this one right here take that one off and then you're just gonna lay it down I don't know what side is right but to me it doesn't matter it's gonna tuck the wire push that little thing right there put the little plastic screw thing back on The next thing we're going to be working on is this piece right here. Alright. On your factory one, you should have like a little rubber, a rubber washer thing. We're going to be replacing that with the one that came with the kit. So take this off. Okay. The new one comes with a thicker one. And you're going to put the new one. This is the new one. And this is the stock one, so you can see the difference between them. So, I'm going to assume it goes down like this. Alright, we got the little rubber bushing thing in there. Next, you're going to get your zip tie. They sent me a white one, but I, I know you won't see it, but I guess I'll use this black one instead. Alright, we got the zip tie on. Next thing you want to do is just clip it off. Alright, we got that all situated right now. Um, so now we're going to want to pick the, uh, the top back on. And make sure you plug all your plugs back up. So even... 
without this, you know, it still don't work because, uh, you know, you can't, you need some kind of jam nut down there to stop it. So let me take that big stock washer off and maybe that'll give me the clearance that I need. All right, so we took the the one that came with it off and we're going to put the stock one back in there. Let's try that. I don't know what we're going to do about the boot. All right, so here's what the problem was. This one from uh, MGW that they send in, they sent with the kit. Uh, it was too thick. Because if you look at this uh, one I bought, aftermarket one, that I bought with my shifter from CJ Ponies, you see it got lip on it too. So what I'm going to try to do now is just try this without it. All right, now we do got room to thread it on. Kind of hard to do with this one hand. Come on. All right, so when it's crooked like that, what you do is you don't keep sque squeezing it and turning it because it'll just bust right through it. What you do is you make the adjustments down here. You'll back it off to where you get it straight, and then you'll come back here and make the adjustments. All right, we got it all adjusted on there. It's tight now. It's lined up. And ain't this a bitch. I forgot to put this piece on. Well, make sure you put all your pieces on before you put it all together. Back to the drawing board. All right, we got the piece in there that I forgot to do. I mean, it seems kind of bulky, but I guess you can't have too much, you know, installation. So don't make no noise. You know, so make sure you got room to shift and it don't uh, mess with your shifts. All right, let's try to put this thing back together again. All right, we got it all back together now. I said we're not going to need these right here. Gap in between the knob and all that stuff. We're not going to need all that. So we're not going to need these. But if I didn't use this uh, this other part that I bought before, I would probably be using these. But everything's working. It goes in reverse. The next thing to do is take this bad boy on a test drive. accidentally put it in reverse other than that like I said it's real quiet no road noise none like I said I still have my uh, stock clutch in here too so I know that's probably locked me out too but I'm not gonna upgrade that until it starts giving me problems I'm not gonna just take out a perfectly good clutch and throw it away I'll probably burn it up first
there, it's like my hand was just automatically doing it. You don't even have to think about it, you just do it. We have it, the MGW Race Spec Short Throw Shifter. I can't say nothing bad about it. Um, I thought the Barton was good, but everybody kept saying, no, nah, Will, you should have got the MGW. MGW's the best. And I was like, well, shit, how much better can it get with this Barton? I, I loved the Barton for the longest time. Only problem I had with my Barton was once I got supercharged and at high R RPMs, it's like I would miss gears. All right, there you have it. Um, it's been shit about three, four months now since I had this uh, MGW race spec shifter, and um, I'm starting to get locked out again. So I, I know I still have the stock clutch and the, with the horsepower I'm making. I know I need to replace it, but I mean, it's just sometimes it just gets ridiculous where I'll be missing gears now. So honestly. I don't think nothing was wrong with the um, the Barton shifter. The MGW shifter is a better shifter, you know, but you can't even compare the race spec against the Barton shifter. You would have to compare the, the race spec against the Barton hybrid because the Barton hybrid has the, the brackets and uh, all that stuff too to bolt onto the transmission, whereas the uh, short throw shifter I had, <clears throat> it's just a top mount thing, so it's not even a fair comparison. But, um, so I'm assuming before I get a clutch, I'm going to try to get a, um, the clutch line, a steel braided clutch line. You know, they're pretty cheap. I'm going to upgrade one of those. And I'm going to even get the little Stedia or Steda, you know, pressure spring to put on the clutch pedal. You know, I don't know if that's going to help or not, you know, but that's why I'm going to try all that before I go out and buy me a new clutch all right hope you enjoyed that video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button follow me on instagram and facebook at this 50 go uh, make sure you like comment and hit the little button thing up there to get notified whenever my videos come out don't drink and drive until next time peace